This guy's watching from the window. Ah, thank, I'd like to thank Make a Wish Foundation for making this possible. <laughs> If I wasn't here, I'd be fronted by very telling jokes. We all met. Even the comedy, you know, you know the show was bad when the comics started leaving. <laughs> hey, fuck that. Yeah. Well, give yourself a round of applause for sticking out, man. This is, uh... Thanks for keeping the show a secret. <laughs> so, uh... Joke number one. <laughs> It's so awkward right now, it's kind of weird. You're coming too? You, whose video camera is that? Mine. Yours? You just... It's Vita. Oh, you take me Vita? Okay. Everything. Yeah. Thank you for Lou for letting us have his place to do comedy. That's Lou over there, that's the owner. Give him a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought he was Italian because I saw the basement was finished downstairs. <laughs> Like, this is a nice couch. I'm gonna a flat screen TV. <laughs> that shit happened. I was late coming here because I'm addicted to that new PlayStation 2 game. You know where you point where you trash everything and bang all the hookers? You know what I'm talking about? Tiger Woods 12? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, came all the way from Mississauga. Uh, I was in uh, Godridge last weekend, actually. Anybody been to that shitty little town out east? <laughs> <laughs> I get up at 2 o'clock, right? I'm, gonna all, I'm a breakfast guy. I don't care what time you get up. I need breakfast. I can't wake up and like, eat a big steak or nothing, right? So uh, I went to this restaurant at 2 in the afternoon. I said, you got all day breakfast? And he was like, no, we don't have all day breakfast here. I said, okay, let me see the menu. Take a look at the menu. He has a BLT. I said, all right, let me get a BLT. Um, can I get an egg with that? He goes, that'll be $2 extra. I go, no problem. Can you put the egg on the side? He goes, yeah, we can do that. Can, I put, can you put the bacon on the side? Hey, 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 what did I say? Let me get it. <laughs> no all day breakfast here. I'm like, fuck. You're fucking smart. You cut on, Sparky. That's why they didn't want you to leave God. <laughs> I'm from Montreal. Um, somebody's making fun of Montreal earlier. It was funny. But where's uh, where's most that said uh, black guys can't help but pick up lines? Did you guys hear that joke? Yeah. It's not. It's not that. You know what the difference is? White guys are just more subtle. Like, I was at a bus stop, and this girl walked by with a big booty and big titties, right? So, a couple brothers were at the bus stop, like, oh my god, you see the body on that? You know what this fucking thing? The white guy looked at it and went, You guys are just subtle ear flirts. We're like, That's all that is. Oh, man. Fuck. This is so, this is so weird. Like, the front row is the show, man. Come on, make us laugh, monkey. <laughs> Check in the box. It's funny, when white guys wanted to be racist when I was younger, they say, hey, go back to Africa. You know how much it is to fucking go back to Africa? It's $1,500. That's why Africans ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you ever see a black guy on TV like that's wanted for something, and you see he has like, cornrows? You ever notice the more braids he has, you think that's how much more time he's getting in jail? <laughs> Okay, just fucking me. Oh my god, that was funny! You got no black people here. No? You, you got some rough brothers in you? No, no, no. No? no? I'm, I'm semi-black. What's semi-black? I know a semi-truck is fucking big. What's a semi-black guy? Like, like, oh, you don't know your dad? Okay. <laughs> I think he's black. I've seen him once. I've seen him once. What did I tell you? Sri Lankan. Oh, Sri Lankan. You're a semi-black. Alright, you're not tablet or nothing, you're not gonna stab me and shit, bro. Yeah. Not funny! <laughs> I'm pretty much stabbed. Some common get some shit. Some common get some stab. Maybe I could take it to Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask that out of you. I'm, I'm like Indian. You're like, we got semi black and we got like Indian. Technically, <laughs> okay. You're the description on, there. What's like Indian mean? I was born in South Africa, but I am Indian. Uh, okay. So there we so go. So you're like, so that's like Indian. Indian. It's fucking liking. Not, not, Indian. not Indian. I think Indian people invented bobbleheads. That's oh, what that's I think. Right. I don't know, please. No problem. Okay. okay. We bring it. 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 To uh, Italy last year, and uh, went to see Sweden, and um, I took what, um, what's it called, Jet Airlines. It's an Indian airline, and I didn't know it was an Indian airline until the plane took off. They did. <laughs> 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 so 
sounds is good. You're a white guy, right? Yeah. Are you semi white or light white? No, I'm Canadian. <laughs> I'm fully Canadian. See that? Fully he's proud as shit. Like Canadian. No, no, no I'm, not, I'm not like he's Canadian. Fully Canadian. Like I'm potatoes. Canadian. White people love their potatoes. What are you saying? Eat potatoes, right? Eat potatoes. Smash. <laughs> scallop. <laughs> french fries. I love a fucking potato, these guys. Don't you eat like french fries. I like the rice. I like the rice. Sorry to cut it, please. I live in Mississauga. And my mom came to visit me from Montreal. If you're not giving a Jamaican lady directions to Mississauga, you tell her to get off at Dixie, she gets off at Dixon. <laughs> she can't pronounce any other exits. She's like, when am I getting off? Katra, Heron Mills, Poor Ontario. <laughs> the only ones she ever remembers are the ones that sound like my auntie and uncle. She's like, where am I getting off? Winston or Mavis. <laughs> Can I get another glass of wine, Lou, please? <laughs> I gotta get Howard talking to the front row over here. <laughs> you guys can fuck off if you wanna go. You guys just stand in there like this. Make us laugh. <laughs> no, it's kind of a tough crowd. It doesn't intimidate me though. You know what I saw at one of my shows that intimidated me? I saw an empty wheelchair. <laughs> That's fucked up. You're thinking, fuck, was I that bad? It's like it's gone up and walked out. Like, <laughs> I don't fuck what you're saying, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I just got back to my West. Oh, everybody tells me, like, all the fucking, there's not a lot of black people out West, the white guys are racist out there, but they were cool. I met a lot of cool white dudes. I mean, there's one episode where I thought the white guy was being racist. I was in AW, and I was ordering breakfast, and the little guy in, or, beside me ordered, and all I heard was, uh, give me the bacon nigger. <laughs> I'm like, what? Goes the bacon nigger. <laughs> I thought you were having a brother for breakfast, yo. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. And I went to this mall, and they have a store called Black. I think it's like a camera store and shit. But they moved, and I didn't know this, but I'm walking in the mall, and all I said was, Blacks, I've relocated to serve you better. That fucks with your psyches, you know what I mean? <laughs> and girls out west eat too much red meat. Eat too much red meat, man. I went down on a girl and I caught mad cow. <laughs> Is that too dirty? <laughs> um, I used to work in a psych unit. You believe in a psych ward? When I moved here from Montreal, I worked in a psych unit in Montreal called Royal Victoria Hospital and they had the Alec Memorial Institute. When I moved here, they wanted me to work at the Queen Street Mental Institute and I worked there for two days, but I didn't want to be around psych patients no more. But I remember this one episode. This guy came down, right? He's smoking a cigarette, right? Something here, everything back right there. And uh, he goes, go sad, you think I'm crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that would be like I hear that shit. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake it. Because that guy shake that very well. He shake it better than a woman. <laughs> <laughs> He's there, man. He's like, he does shake well. <laughs> Give me your coffee, other hand, just to see how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> look at the guy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I do that. He shakes just like this. You know what? Have you ever been to Brampton? That's where all the Indians are. Brampton. White people in Brampton are a rumor. <laughs> yeah, I went to Brampton the other day, went to the Walmart in Bovere. It was all Indians and Jamaicans. Even a Walmart we greeter was Jamaican. He has an apron in his back pocket. He's like, yo, welcome to Walmart, my you welcome to Walmart. <laughs> what? Oh. Um, what was they just talking about? Oh, I worked in the psyche. So the guy goes, set. Well, he's smoking a cigarette. He goes, you think I'm crazy? I'm like, everybody's got their problems. He goes, no, do you really think I'm crazy? I'm like, John, everybody's got their problems. You know, that's life. We've got problems. He goes, wait, tell me something. I come into the psych unit, I eat for free, I drink for free, I get free drugs, and I get free check in the mail every month. Who's crazy? Me or them? <laughs> and it's true, like, fuck, we take care of these people. And this guy came in and said he was Julius Caesar. He's walking around one day, he's like, I'm Julius Caesar. <laughs> he took hospital seats, he put it around, he took a plant, he put it around his head like a vine. I'm Julius Caesar. After hearing this for three days, I'm like, buddy, who told you I'm Julius Caesar? He goes, God told me. 
This other patient walks by and goes, no, I didn't. <laughs> 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 crazy. <laughs>